fall, 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 fall shoes. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is finally the fall shoe guide video. I hope you guys are prepared mentally and physically because it's going to get real intense up in here. I'm so excited for this video. I hope you guys like it too. This is a very comprehensive video. I'm going to show you guys all of my favorite fall shoes. To keep us organized throughout this video, I'm going to separate everything into three major categories. I'm going to go over flats, heels, and boots. I'm going to share with you guys why I like the shoe and how I like to personally style them. I will be including everything mentioned in today's video, both the shoes and the outfits, down below in the description bar, so make sure to check that out. We got a lot of shoes to get through, so before we get started, please make sure to click this red button to subscribe if you are not a current subscriber, and also give this video a thumbs up if you like my educational fashion videos and you want me to do one in the future. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. All right, guys, let's get warmed up with the flats category. My first favorite fall shoe is going to be the loafer. No, this is not your grandma's old fugly shoe. The modern day loafer is a sleek, professional, minimalist shoe. The menswear trend is so in right now, and I love the loafer because it allows you to play with the menswear trend without going full blast. The ones I have right here are by far my favorite loafers that I found for the season. These are from Old Navy. Of course. These only cost $30 and I got them in both black and burgundy. Ooh! Reasons why I love this one, number one, the price is amazing. They're super comfortable. I love the contrast between the patent leather and the matte felt on the side. I love wearing mine with a simple shift dress and a sleek clutch, or a pair of ankle length skinny jeans and a white button down blouse. Or for an unexpected preppy look, I like pairing these with a pair of shorts and a cardigan or a blazer. Moving on to fall favorite flat shoe, let's talk about the sneaker. Sneakers are obviously an amazing choice if you want to dress a look down, and also for the times where just gonna be like walking all day long. If you're into sneakers, I have two different styles that I like to have on hand. The first one are my white Converse shorelines. These have an elasticized back. The crisp white sneaker is great for a nautical or preppy look. And then for the days I want a more minimalist or edgy, kind of dressed up look, I go for my slip on sneaker with a luxe material. The ones I have right here were such a freaking steal. I got these from Topshop. They were only $35 and I love them because they're a traditional slip on sneaker. But the fact Fabric is a crocodile embossed faux leather. In terms of styling these guys, they honestly look great with any pair of leggings, jeans, or dresses. If you're looking for a more like city, chic, minimalist, upscale look, I would go with these sneakers. And if you're looking for a more preppy, all-American look, I would go with these guys. But seriously, you can't go wrong. These two sneakers will have you covered throughout the entire season. Oh, and both of them together cost under $100. Frick yeah! Moving on to my third and final fall favorite flat shoe. I'm gonna have to go with my pointy-toed T-strap Flats. I think of these like my Devil Wears Prada shoes. They're super trendy, great for those fashionistas out there that like to have a bold statement to their outfit. They're great dupes for the Valentina Rockstar shoes, and if you don't have $1,000 to spend on those, these are an amazing option. These are from Halogen, and they only cost around $80. I think this is a great shoe for going straight from the office to happy hour and night on the town. I have them in this candy apple red if I would need a pop of color to my outfit, and then I have these blush patent ones if I need something more nude and neutral. You can wear these guys with skinny ankle jeans, flare jeans, or dresses and skirts. And these shoes are also amazing because they double as weapons. Shake a bitch! Moving on to category number two, let's talk about them sexy heels. I've got three pairs of heels that I wear on repeat during the fall season. The first one is going to be my pair of leopard calf haired pumps. As you guys see in a lot of my videos, I love leopard calf hair. I think it's such a great pattern and a great fabric because it gives a lot of texture and the warm colors complement a lot of those autumnal colors like hunter greens, reds, navies, all that good stuff. This particular one is from last season. These are by Steve Madden. There are different options out there, so I'll link them down below in the description bar. I love pairing mine, of course, with a simple little black dress, or they also look great with a cozy sweater and a pair of skinny jeans, and they also look great with any shirt and skirt combo. If you're looking for a statement shoe, this is a great option. It will definitely last you throughout fall and winter and even into the springtime. Do not fear the leopard. Moving on to my second fall favorite heeled shoe. These are 
just a classic pair of bright red suede pointy-toed pumps. Obviously the red is so fitting for fall and the winter seasons, but honestly you can wear these guys all year round. You could kind of use it to complement other colors or they look awesome with any of your neutrals. I personally love a red suede better because it's a little bit more subdued and I feel like it's a little bit more versatile. This particular pair are from Nordstrom. They are Charles by Charles David. And I got these on sale for less than $50. Personally, I like to pair these with classic fall patterns like leopard or houndstooth or herringbone. And just like the last pair, I love to wear them with dresses, pants, or skirts. You really just can't go wrong with a classic red pump. Moving on to my last fall favorite heeled shoe. And oftentimes, especially during the fall and winter, I have these witch vibe moments where I just want to wear all black, leather, kind of look like a badass chick. And these shoes are an essential to have for those days. These shoes are from last season. These are from BP from Nordstrom. I got them for about $90. There's many, many, many different iterations of this shoe every single year. But personally, I love this shoe because it's a great going out shoe. You can dress it up. It looks really sleek and just kind of like badass. There are different ways you can style this guy. I like these obviously with the all black black ensemble, but you can also look really city chic and classic by pairing it with a pair of leggings, a top, and a blanket scarf or a cape. And for you girly girls out there, do not fear, these boots are amazing with a cute flirty mini skirt and like a chunky kind of cable net sweater. Alright guys, you've made it to the final frontier. Let's talk about them. My head was literally spinning, trying to figure out how to discuss all these different types of boots. I'm gonna start with ankle booties and move my way up to over the knee boots. I'm gonna give you guys some really easy to follow tips for these boots, but please know, I believe that there are exceptions to every fashion rule. So please don't think I'm pressuring you to like follow anything I say, it's just purely my opinion. So let's start off with the shortest ankle booty. The specimen we'll be examining today are these beautiful Sam Edelman booties. I got these during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I believe these are the page booties. They come with the cutest little fringe on the side and I believe I got them for 110 during the anniversary sale and they're normally 180. But for as flat as they are, they have amazing arch support. They're obviously super well made. Putty, and the gray putty color is just a great neutral color that I didn't have in my closet already. When you pair a low cut ankle booty like this, I like like to follow a rule of cuffing your jeans just enough to show a sliver of skin between the shoe and the bottom of the jean. The reason for this is that since it's such a low cut shoe, if you jam your pants or jeans into the boot itself, it's really going to truncate and shorten your leg. You're creating a very harsh line between your leg and your foot and it's making your leg appear shorter than it needs to be. Quick tip for when you are cuffing your jeans with a short boot like this, I recommend keeping the cuff no more than one inch tall. Reason being is that you already have kind of like a short boot shaft to work with. If you have a really fat cuff, it's gonna make your leg look even shorter. So try to keep it a little bit more petite and then have a little sliver of skin and then you have your boot shaft so it looks a little bit more balanced and even. So moving on up the boot shaft height. Next I'm gonna talk about my favorite boot shaft height. This is a medium height ankle booty. I think it's very universally flattering and also really versatile at the same time. The ones I have here are probably my favorite of the season. These are from BP. I got these during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I got them for only $80 and I believe they're now $120. These are absolutely comfortable, very, very soft in the toe box, great height in the heel, and I also love that it has a very like western cowboy boot flare to them. In terms of styling, you definitely have some more versatility with these guys. If you do like putting your jean into the actual boot. You can definitely do them with these. I just highly recommend wearing jeans that are skinny throughout the calf. You don't want to have a super baggy jean getting jammed into an ankle booty like this because when you walk it's going to look more baggy, scrunched, and it's going to make your leg look wider than it actually is. So if you're going to wear them with leggings and jeans, make sure that they are tight and fitted throughout your entire leg. Next styling tip, you can obviously follow the SOS rule, the sliver of skin rule. But the great thing with a higher boot shaft is that you can work with a larger cuff. Again, with the cuff height and the boot height, you want to make sure that they're proportionate. So now that you have more boot to play with, you have your little sliver of skin and you can have a thicker cuff if you have a longer pair of jeans that you want to roll up. And lastly, these obviously look good with a dress or a skirt. I personally like pairing it with something kind of flowy and bohemian with the western boot. It's just kind of like a cool country look but still modern at the same time. So while we're in the subject, I want to show you guys a few other favorites that I have really, really quickly. I found an even more Western version of these boots from Jessica Simpson's line. These have this amazing fringe detail. It's a darker cognac suede color, and they're also less than $100. So a great steal 
and great for those who want a more bohemian look. Next pair is great for those of you that are not comfortable with a high heeled type of ankle booty. These are definitely more flat. These are from Target and I believe they're less than $35. They have a little bit more of a slouchy um, boot shaft and best if you want a more casual type of look. And last but certainly not least, I wanna show you guys this boot. This is called a Chelsea boot. You know that it's a Chelsea boot because it always has elasticized panels on the boot shaft. I got super lucky and I got these from Forever 21 before they sold out. I got them for only $30. They're crazy comfortable with a really nice chunky heel and I absolutely love wearing these with a pair of black skinny leggings. I think it makes your legs look extra long and just a really sleek medium height ankle booty to try. If these are not back in stock, I will link alternative affordable options for you down below. All right guys, let's move on up to at the knee and over the knee high boots. So I'm gonna give you guys my really quick spiel about these boots. I've always struggled with finding really good tall boots because I have the skinniest little chicken leg. I mean, they'd be like two chopsticks, you know what I'm saying? So for me, I'm very selective with my tall boots. I don't wanna look like Johnny Depp from Pirates of the Caribbean. And most importantly, I want them to look good and also feel comfortable at the same time. So my real personal tip about tall boots is really to understand your calf, your musculature, and knowing what I like to call your magic number. I would oftentimes blindly buy tall boots online and get them and realize that they don't fit at all. So what I ended up doing is complete common sense. I measured my calf and then I went to a store and tried on tall boots with varying widths. Walk around in the boots, sit down in the boots, see what feels comfortable for your calves and your feet. So for instance, my calf is about like a 12 and a half inch circumference. After trying on many different styles, I figured out that I didn't want anything that was beyond 14 and a half inch circumferences. So for me, that really helped eliminate a lot of boots that would have been very ill-fitting on me and it just made shopping so much easier. So yeah, that's my tip. Know your body, know your number, understand what you're comfortable with, and then rock it out. So, the more you know. Now let's talk about the quintessential tall fall boot, the riding boot. I love all of the equestrian details of the riding boot. They look great in black and cognac and dark brown, but I ended up finding my perfect pair of riding boots. They fit amazing, they're so comfortable, they fit my six toe great. The actual boot shaft height hits perfectly and the little high heel on the bottom elongates my legs just a little bit more. These boots are by Fry, I believe they are the Jackie Button, kind of like high heeled riding boot. So definitely love these, I got them in the cognac color because I just think that cognac and the riding boot just really go well together. Looks great with your jeans, your dresses. It is definitely an amazing starter tall boot to have in your closet because it does match with all the great stuff in the fall and winter wardrobe. Moving on to the sexiest of all the boots. Let's talk about the over the knee boots. Again, key things to remember, know your body, know your magic number, and also be cognizant of the width of your thigh to make sure that these are comfortable boots to wear throughout the day. With the over the knee boots, you have to also be cognizant of the width of your actual thigh. Make sure they're comfortable enough for your ass to sit in. As for over the knee boots, I've got three favorites. The first one I got last season. These are flat over the knee boots that feature a elastic panel on the back, which is great because it conforms to any type of calf. And then you have this like badass sleek leather panel in the front. I got these at Nordstrom Rack for about $100 last year. I'll link alternative options down below. You can style this guy with jeans or black leggings and if you're gonna wear a skirt I kind of recommend maybe a shorter skirt just so that it looks a little bit more proportionate. My next pair of over-the-knee boots are from Dolce Vita. I got these during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I'm not gonna lie these boots were definitely out of my comfort zone. I'm not used to buying really slouchy kind of hobo style boots but I really wanted to try something new and these were just so gorgeous to pass up. I tested these out by walking around in them for a little bit and they didn't fall down so highly recommend these if you're looking for a suede boot that has a little bit more of a Western feel. Moving on to my final shoe of the day, let's talk about my Stuart Weitzman knockoff shoes. These are from Cole Haan, so they're not really knockoffs, they're also very nice shoes, but I got these during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, and just like my Fry Boots, this is a crazy investment. It sucks that I have two crazy investments in one year, but they were just too good to pass up. This boot to me is specifically for more like evening kind of dressier looks. I got these specifically because they were the only 
tall, skinny black boots that really fit my legs like a glove. These give just like the sexiest, most high-end elegant detail to any outfit. And the craftsmanship of these guys are just completely unmatched for the price range. So that rounds it up for my over-the-knee boot category. I've got my sleek, sexy, tight black ones for more formal or dressier looks. I've got my flat ones with the elasticized panel for comfort and all-day walking. And then I've got my brown suede ones that look great with jeans and more of an all-American Western look. All right, guys, that does it for today's video. Congratulations for making it through the gauntlet. So I'll link everything mentioned in today's video, including the outfits, down below in the description bar so make sure to pop that open and check it out if you guys want to show me some love please make sure to give me a big thumbs up on this video and click this red button right here to subscribe to my channel if you have any questions or comments for me please also make sure to leave them down below I love to hear your thoughts thank you guys so much again for your patience with this video I hope it lived up to your expectations and you got some good ideas I'll say it once I'll say it a thousand times I freaking love you guys to death I'm about to head out to a well-deserved mini vacation I still have to work. I'll be vlogging. So I'm really excited. I hope you guys like my vlogs. I haven't vlogged in forever. Hope you guys are all enjoying your week out there with your pumpkin spice lattes and hopefully crisp, cool weather. Send you guys so many kisses and hugs, and I'll see you guys next Thursday. Bye.